until the party starts. It is currently 11.30. The party does not officially begin until 7, but you can do early park at starting at 4, like early admission starting at 4. Christmas cookie churro. 
it tastes like what the cherry should be, but it's hard and it's chewy at the same time. Like, it took me forever to get through that bite. I don't know if the cherry was sitting out longer or what, or maybe it's the sprinkles that is making it hard. And the, no, let me see if I can just get the churro. Maybe the end. It's the churro. The churro itself is hard. And I love churros. I don't know if it was overcooked or sitting out too long, but this churro is definitely hard. Um, The cookie crumbs are good. It's like a chocolate chip cookie. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I would recommend this for it being $7.25 and getting a hard churro. Mm, like you're better off with that Christmas wheat donut because that donut was good. But these churros. But yeah, if you would like to try it, certainly go ahead, go try it for yourself. Maybe it's just that I got a bad batch of it, but yeah. All right, until the party. I won't see you until the party because we tried all of our, all of the Magic Kingdom snacks that are available um, during the day. The rest of the treats aren't available until the main party. And I'm telling you now, I'm avoiding all peppermints. Even though we have a peppermint up there, we're avoiding all peppermint. We have learned our lesson. We do not like pepper, pepper, pepper nickel. We do not like peppermint. So we will be avoiding it at all costs. But anywho, until then, to the week. All right, it's official. It's officially seven o'clock, which means let the party begin. Yay, let's go get our first drink from Mickey's Merry Christmas. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, no, for real. Let's go get some food. Because I'm hungry. And it's not even food, it's like a treat. So, okay, first up we have the polar bear claw. <laughs> I just know it's a bear claw. The only thing I do not like is the fact that it's covered in white chocolate. But other than that, this is a pretty good pastry. It's soft, it's chewy. I'm trying to see if there's chocolate in the middle. Hold on. I'm gonna get there, guys. I'm gonna get there. croissant and it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm so excited about this treat. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go finish this off and then we'll go get the next treat. Okay, at the luncheon pad they had apple cider. So we're gonna give that a try. It tastes like apple cider. Well, it tastes more like apple juice than cider to me anyway. And, oh, can you see it? We got a cookie. But let's go. We're going to, whoop. Sorry. All right, we're going to Cosmic Parades to see what they have. As I drink my apple cider. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Once you get to the bottom of it, it starts getting good. Unless I'm tired of it. But either way. Oh no. Oh wait. Let me show.
show you the, the bottom of this. Can y'all see? Can y'all see? Okay, I am done. All right, we're going. All right, we have found hot chocolate and a snickerdoodle cookie. Yay! And that was at Cosmic Rays. So, I basically found, eh, let's go Main Street, way. Okay? I found the hot chocolate I wanted. That's really good. It's rich, it's chocolatey. And it's kind of chilly tonight, so it's kind of perfect. I'm addicted to the hot chocolate. That's all I want is hot chocolate now. Let's just go find more. Nah, I'm kidding. I have a snack. An actual snack I want to try. So that's where we're headed now. If we can get past the rush. I know. I said it was going to be like a treat treat. But I saw a stop. So I had to make this stop. We went to Pinocchio Village and they had hot cocoa and chocolate chip cookies. The chocolate chip cookies is still in my hand as well as the other gingerbread cookie. And of course I got another hot chocolate. I'm going to be filled up with hot chocolate by the end of the day, I promise you guys. But it's on the other side. But okay, for real. I'm headed, I'm headed to get the tree right now. I'm walking. I'm going. I'm going. So I was, I, I'm right. We came back with a treat. And of course, I had to support my girl. How I come. And I now support her. So we got, <laughs> so we got the Tinkerbell cream puff. And it's a cream puff. Um, carrot cake. And cream cheese. Icing. Spice cream cheese icing. So pretty and glittery, glittery as it should be. Can can you see that? Cause my girl leaves sparkles everywhere she go. All right, all right, y'all don't you don't mess with my girl now. Okay, how do you eat this? I just had it all in my hands. Are we gonna? Oh, oh goodness, hold up. Uh, Maya's about to be a Maya. Let's let's get prepared. Cause I already see it coming. All right. Texture to it, and I actually do love walnuts with my carrot cake. So. 
This would be so good with some hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go find some hot chocolate. After I find some napkins. I'm so sorry, I'm just gonna my mouth full. But it's so good, I just have to tell you. All right, I'll be back with our next treat. All right, next up on our treat list is a chocolate and cranberry Christmas tart. So, as the name says, I think that's the name. It's a chocolate and cranberry tart. And I got this from the Sunshine Tree Terrace. I am really stepping out of my comfort zone for these chocolate and fruits. I just want you guys to know that. So, let us, oh my goodness, wait, I gotta show you what it looks like. Hold on, let me pick it up. Of course, while Maya was doing that, she was being a Maya and she dropped the fork. So and now we're just going to pick it up and just take a bite out of it because I don't feel like getting up to get another fork. So uh, yeah. I'm definitely tasting the cranberries in it. The cookie. I like the cookie that's on the outside. I'm sorry, I'm doing it again. And I like the mousse inside. This is a pretty tasty treat. It reminds me of the... Hold on, before I say that, let me... Yeah, it reminds me of the hot chocolate mousse. It's probably the same mousse that they use and they just like find new ingredients and new ways to incorporate it into new desserts. But okay. What I tell you? Huh. Okay, I like it. I just don't like the fact that it's cranberry forward. It's not really cranberry forward. It's just I taste the cranberry. I don't like fruit and chocolate, guys. I don't like it, and I feel like that's what I'm getting from this. Like, the chocolate candy with the fruit filling, and I don't like that. But otherwise, everything else is good. So if you would like to try it, I suggest it. There's nothing bad about it. It's just a matter of preference. All right, until the next treat. All right, we made another stop. Um, the tavern. They had eggnog and sugar cookie. And it's not a green sugar cookie, it's a red sugar cookie. I feel like I'm collecting cookies at this point. But, um, I've never tried eggnog before and I am really scared. But what better way to try it than something you already paid for? So, <laughs>
we don't even like, I can't even tell you what it tastes like because I don't like it. All right, wow. Unlock cut truth. All right, let's go. Let's go. We still got some more stops along the way. It is 8.25, so maybe we'll see the 8.30 ride. It starts in Frontierland, and we're right there. So I'm going to see if I can find a spot for it. If not, then we'll just do the parade at 11. I know the parade at 11 is going to be less crowded anyway. Uh, we're just gonna scope out this scene and see what we see. Alright, toodaloo for now. Alright, we're back with another treat. Unfortunately, I did not get to go see the parade. Long story. Anyway, no need to worry. I got the Christmas tree cake from Casey's Corner. I just realized it has eggnog buttercream, but we all know I don't really like buttercream anyway, so we're probably going to end up scraping it off. The only reason why I got it was because it was red velvet, and you guys know I love red velvet. Everything, I try everything red velvet. I mean, is it the holidays if it's not red velvet? If you don't have red velvet? Like, anyway. So here we go. Look how pretty she is. It's a red velvet brownie. Look at her! She's glitter casted too! Oh, so cute. Okay. Look, look at that. Layers. The layers. Okay? Yes. Alright. I'm procrastinating because it has thick buttercream on here. But I'll take one bite of buttercream just for you. Okay, the brownie is good. It's the buttercream. Now, now let's try it. This is good. Is that cheesecake? I have to figure out what the white stuff is. It tastes like cheesecake. It tastes like a cheesecake. This is heaven. Scrape off the buttercream. You don't need it. I'm kidding. If you like buttercream, then that's go for it. But this is. Ooh. This is good. I want to say this is a cheesecake brownie. If you've ever had a cheesecake with a brownie bottom, Oh, amazing. My mom used to make it. My mom and I actually used to make it. And this this is what it's reminding me of. <sighs> mm, sure, I like this. I just don't like the buttercream. So. You guys literally watched me eat this whole thing. But all right, I'm gonna go and finish this off. I'm sorry for talking about my mouth bump. I'm gonna finish this off, find the next treat, and then I will come back to you guys. Okay? I promise. We're having such a good holiday time. This dish was okay. I really enjoyed the brownie bottom, but otherwise, it was very gingerbread forward, and I think I am just over gingerbread, so it was just okay for me at least. Alright, the camera is dying, so I'm making an outro now. I hope you enjoyed this lovely Mary Mickey party with me. Thank you for coming with me. 